Hello everybody, my name is Invicta, and welcome back to Invicta Gaming here on the channel. We're back in Minecraft 10 days after the last episode was recorded. We just got done getting to a brand new island, and uh, we're going to see where we go from here. I know that at the end of, like a sculpture up there, I know at the end of the last episode, um, we were talking about how we didn't really get a whole lot done, but that's okay because we did accomplish our goal, which was of course to get out of the frozen wasteland that was the whatever frozen heck that we were in. Um, and we did, so we succeeded in that. We have some chickens here, we got some pigs. Yeah, yeah, this could be, this could be, this could be, we got cows here too, yo, let's go. So goal for the day, goal for the day. We're gonna set a clear goal here. We're gonna get started with getting an actual base going. We wanna make sure that we have our livestock so we can have food. <clears throat> and I'm not a huge fan of the jungle biome, to be honest. Um, but if there is a plains, which it might be right there, we actually have shelter from this huge mountain. Also, there's something on, there's something up there. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, but yeah, we are here on day number 10. So again, it's, it's literally, even though this is recorded like a week and a half after the last episode, again, really sorry about the, the sort of sporadic releases here and there. Um, I've been wanting to record more Minecraft. I just haven't. Um, but <clears throat> I do want to say that I am committed to doing more and more Minecraft content here on the channel. And again, I really appreciate everyone's support so far. Wow, dude, this is this is this has got to be perfect, right? I mean, this is like picturesque. Look at that. That is beautiful. How can we how can we say no to this to this spot here? Unless we find a better spot over here. I mean, it's like it's almost as if yeah, this is all water. Yeah, I mean this 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 spot was highlighted by the sun. I think this is where we're gonna be. So welcome to our new home. Absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, enough chit chatting. Let's get let's get things rolling here. We need to get some uh, we need to get some wood. We need to start building some stuff, and then eventually go and try to find ourselves a good location for some uh, some diamonds, you know, just all, all kinds of all kinds of stuff like that. Um, we did we do have our iron, which is good. So we're gonna start out by and by the way, I, I want to mention that don't be expecting a massive amount of skill here or any kind of beauty when it comes to uh, when it comes to house building. Building houses is not my thing in, in Minecraft. In fact, building lots of things is not my thing in Minecraft. Um, I try to I try to make it, you know, I try to make it presentable, but I'm not here to try to impress anybody here. It's, I mean, the ladies are certainly not going to be impressed with the Minecraft skill of my of my Minecraft house, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, you know, we, we can we can always hope one day, right? That's that's the dream, right, fellas? So here we go. I'm just gonna. Am I getting pushed by a pig right now? I feel like I'm being pushed by a pig right now. If that's the case, this pig is not going to be long for this world. I didn't think so. Anyway. Okay. Made some oak planks here. Um, let's get rid of the beetroot for now. Come back and we can come back and pick that up. So I think we need to get a solid foundation of just a floor. So what we're going to do is just, it's going to be as basic as basic can be. It's going to be just a, a block of wood with a floor in it. Nothing spectacular. I don't even know the symmetrical. We don't have to live in a square. And I actually think I've made it, I made it perfectly. One, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. So let's make this. Uh, let's make this like twelve. Yep. So this is gonna be our floor. And that was a full stack of wood already. That was an oak tree? These look like jungle, it looks like jungle trees to me. Don't really have a whole lot of time left in the day here. 
But we do have a bed, and the bed is going to hopefully, hopefully keep us nice and safe and sound and allow us to quick travel through time and space here. So this is, this is oak, this is an oak tree, huh? Yeah, it's oak. I thought jungle trees would be, you know, jungle, but apparently not. Um, we can go back and get the saplings as well, start planting some saplings. I have no idea what the, what the base settings are, the vanilla settings in Isaac, or in Isaac, yeah, listen to me. Uh, there's something on fire over there, that's good. Okay. Just won't pretend I didn't see that. Uh, we're running out of light in a big way. Not exactly sure what's on fire over there, but you'll have a gander. Only we'll probably do that tomorrow, actually. Got an apple here. So anyway, what I was going to say is that I don't know what the default settings are in terms of like growth periods and whatnot uh, for saplings and, and et cetera, et cetera are. So yeah, so you'll have to like, hopefully, hopefully the default settings are going to be fast enough to where we can get a good amount of um, farmable wood. <clears throat> um, I want to keep this tree actually. I like this tree. Let's go over here, chop down some more trees here. Sorry to the sheep and to the, the pigs out there. I'm sure that you, sure you understand, you know. Hey, don't worry. We're, we're providing you. We're, we're getting rid of this so we can give you shelter. There we go. I want to see, I want to be able to see the water as well. So I'm down the vines here and get rid of this tree. And then we can slowly repopulate the area with our uh, saplings that we get. And we can sort of like, you know, we can make the trees kind of grow where we want them to. All right. So let's make some more planks. I'm, I'm going to actually toss this wood there. And no, I need you to away thank you uh we'll take the beetroot seeds out here we're just making a mess in our new thank you that's good enough all right and then we can just build our walls one more up don't worry, I'm not going to keep the house on stilts or anything. I'm just doing this just so we have a baseline here. Because we're running we're running out of daylight really quickly. And I want to at least ha establish a house. There we go. I don't know how tall we're going to make it, but. Obviously, we don't have a door here, and that's okay. We can, we can go for cosmetics, like like windows and that sort of thing later. We're just going for the basics right now. remember the trick that I learned from the dad craft server you just click the middle mouse button and it actually selects the block that you're looking at from your inventory which is a very very handy tip whenever you're going back and forth between two materials there you go one more should do it although I don't think we're gonna have enough time right now um, so we're gonna just try to encase ourselves in here. And I'm not putting these down with any rhyme or reason. I'm just simply lighting the area just so we don't have monster issues. And it even it shouldn't even be that big of a deal, to be honest, um, because we have a bed already. I just want to I want to give us some shelter here. We're going to have to use the spruce planks for now. I know, I know, it doesn't match, I know. Trust me, it makes me kind of kind of trip out too a little bit, but that's for times right now. Ah, 
Oh, that wasn't even enough. All right, well, this should be enough, I hope. Okay. There we go, day 11. I actually kind of like that. I kind of like the darker, darker roof. It's unfortunate that we don't have any spruce trees around here, but... There you go, who needs a door, right? Well, we do, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what, I like the, I like the spruce. There, that's, this is a very me house here. Very, very, very mismatched and, uh, and totally, uh, totally not coordinated. Let's make ourselves a little bit of a crafting table here. I'm pretty sure we don't have one on us because we left everything behind. Let's make a door. Uh, no, I need to make a door game. There we go. We have a door. Perfect. A back door just so we can uh, have to walk all the way to the front. Oh, little step here. Good. And good. Hey, look at that. We made a somewhat halfway complete house. All right. Let's make some chests here. And enough to make four chests. So put that here. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll put our iron and stuff and stuff that we're not using um, currently in there. Here, we could put everything else like the food. I want to carry some food on us for sure. Um, let's just free up our inventory right now. Hold on to the bucket. Never know when you need a good bucket. We'll worry about organization later. Um, right now, we're just, we're just putting that there. Okay, actually, before we do that, let's let's get our let's get our spruces or our saplings planted right now, um, because we're going to we're going to need wood. We're going to need lots of wood, lots and lots of wood. I like the idea of putting the forest here. Um, now, one thing I will say: if being on the DadCraft server has taught taught me one thing, it's that people get really bent out of shape of how I do my my tree farms here. At tree farms, I mean, I literally just put a bunch of, of saplings in a line, and that's that. Again, I'm not a I'm not a pro Minecrafter. Everyone will tell you this. I'm not really someone who will look up uh, like you know. Oh, this is our optimal tree farm. This is the spaces you need between. I know that some trees are going to grow super. I know that you know if you put more space in between them, they won't grow super. Like if you put like four blocks or something in the in between them. Um, that's fine. I just, I just always have just kind of thrown them together just because I don't really care that much. I was like, yeah, I just need wood. Here we go. I got some wood. Um, so yeah, so just keep that in mind. You're, I, again, if you're watching me for optimal gameplay in any game, not just Minecraft, but especially Minecraft, you're not going to get it here. Just trying to make everything work with the sliver of knowledge that I have. It only took us five episodes, but we're finally building stuff. I know. the sound of the vines breaking away. Um, I would like for this tree to go as well. Really shouldn't be using my axe to break leaves as that kills the, dur the uh, durability. Ideally, I'd like to fill all this up with just dirt. I might want to go do that today. Kind of flatten out this, kind of terraform this land over here. Um... I will make proper steps too, don't worry. Let's 
See, haste makes waste, except in Minecraft, because you can just chop something down and just get instantly refunded for the for the mats that uh, got not wasted. Why does that keep happening? Because of the grass? Put it there. Oh yeah, we have a fully en encased box now, almost. There we go. Bingo, bango, bongo, we got ourselves a bumbo. Okay. So I say that we dig. I'm only getting, I'm getting this dirt basically because I want to flatten out, fill in the spots where water is for now. We can make a proper farm, get food. I mean, like, here's the thing. I think that surviving 100 days in Minecraft is not going to be that hard. It's probably also not that fun to watch. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep the goals small for now. For, for a, basically a, a somewhat beginner player, you know, taking one step at a time is, uh, therapeutic. I don't feel like the, I feel like the sound effects may be a little bit too loud. Sorry about that. Hopefully that wasn't, hopefully that wasn't 17 minutes and 15 seconds of too loud sound effect. I am looking forward to going spelunking for diamonds, though. That is that is on the agenda very soon. Right now, however, we need to we need to keep things we we need to keep things in in check here and not try to get too ahead of ourselves. Not going for any land speed records or anything. We're not going for any speed runs. See now a wise a wiser player would actually set up our farm while there's water to irrigate. I think that's a good idea. Instead of me trying to get, you know, water to What's up with my mouse? My mouse cursor is like one off today or something. Um So if we do like two lines There, and then have a line of water in between. Tree's gonna have to come out. This is where I've arbitrarily decided that our makeshift farm needs to go. So lily pads can go fudge right off the short cliff if you know what I mean I don't know what that means so let's need to get our hoe finish filling this in we need to start thinking about where to put our livestock when we go out and try to get them I like the idea of having a moat a nice little defense. But I don't think that we're ever going to get raided or anything, but you never know. There we go. <laughs> hey, look at that. Our, some of our trees have already started to come in. A little, a little bit stumpy, but that's okay. You know what? Aren't we all? Okay, so the vanilla settings seem to be just the same as on the DadCraft server. Um, also, we need to uh, we need to throw out our sugar cane. We start getting some paper so we can make uh, 
We can make uh, books for the enchanting table and whatnot. So we need to get that established as well. I also learned that sugarcane can grow on the dirt, which is something I didn't know until the Dadcraft server. That was thanks to Sips letting me know that. Probably we'll go with a pressure plate as well. Um, just so our doors automatically close. So if we want to do that, there we go. This just ensures that our doors open whenever we want them to. Without us having to open them, like actually physically interact with them, then uh, they close behind us so we don't have to worry about anything following us in. All right, let's go pick up our debris here from the trees that we collected. I hate lily pads. Okay. I'm going to till the soil just so have some fertile land to work with. Okay, and then we have some seeds here, nothing spectacular. I'm gonna try to find those beets, those beetroot seeds that we had as well. I don't remember where we put them. Look at that, look at all these flowers here. May, they may have despawned already. That's okay. Um, some wheat seeds here because we're going to need them to attract the chickens. We're going to need the wheat to attract the sheep and the cows, more importantly. Leather is going to be very important. Pigs, I mean, you know, pork is okay. I'm not sure if pork is necessarily the most important meat that we could harvest right now. Tall grass here. There we go, it's good enough. Oh wow, we went through all, the, that was all the seeds we got? I thought we had a little bit more than that. Oh, that's good enough for us to get started. All right, how's our, how's our, our trees doing over here? Looking, still looking a little ragged. There we go. I think that we need to uh, let's get rid of the unimpressive trees here. Accidentally moused up on the on the mouse wheel there. That's the reason why we switched to the axe. We're getting a pretty good amount of wood out of these little stumpy trees. Yeah, that was good enough. Got a decent amount of wood here. Okay, so for our farm.
I'm trying to get this axe out of here. Okay, so our farm. I think it should be it should be easily accessible and big enough. Big enough to where the animals have plenty of space, but not too much space. We also don't want them around water because the water can lift them out of the gate. I learned that the hard way on the Tadcraft server. Don't ask how, just know that I, I know. Chickens especially, they love to kind of like swim up the waterfalls. Okay, let's make a outside crafting table so I don't have to keep going on inside. Yes, that's how you swap in. Okay. We're gonna need a lot more than 27 vents, I can tell you that. Um. Put it here for now. I don't want to have to go around the fence every single time though to cut the wood around the farm that is. So let's keep it here. You can use the, use the side of the house as, as a little bit of a pen area. Some more iron. We need to make another axe. More sticks and wood. Sticks. We can use our stone axe for now. We still need to have enough for a fence gate, so I don't want to take up all of that. In fact, let's make the gate now. Take two. There, perfect. <clears throat> okay. So this is probably the angle that I'm going to be leading the animals through. Okay, in case I need to get out. Perfect. Okay. So we can't really go get animals until the wheat is, is in. So we're gonna have to wait on that, but we have a nice, nice little setup here. It's nothing, it's certainly not fancy. If you're expecting fancy, you're gonna be disappointed. And I think that will do it for today. So we, we got a lot done today. No one's going to try to take take this away from us and say that we didn't get any minecrafting done. We got we got plenty done here. Also got ourselves a super tree as well. Really hate when that happens. I know, I know, you should grow them four spaces away or five spaces away, whatever. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> we established our base. We got a uh we have a good location for the for the farm. We've got our tree farm working and, uh, you know, we have a safe place to stay for the indefinite future and, uh, we're ready to get the barn rolling and plant some crops here. And, you know, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time to be in Minecraft. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. That concludes day number 11 and 12 here on the channel.
as uh, we go into day 13. So I'm going to stop it here and just say thank you again for all the support. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. It's the best way to support my channel. And of course, ring the notification bell and subscribe if you'd like to see more Minecraft content here, along with some other games coming up in the near future on this channel. I really do appreciate it, everybody. Hope you had a great start to your Thursday. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.